10 random bars are gonna have a mystery ticket inside of them. And if you get this mystery ticket, we will fly you out to compete for a chocolate factory in one of our videos. Hey guys, it's Zoe here, and Mr. Beast is giving away a chocolate factory. Which I think will be one of his biggest videos yet. So, you know, I had to shoot my shot. As soon as Mr. Beast made his announcement in his video, I instantly had to buy the largest bundle I could possibly find, which was his $80 Beast Bundle, which comes with 10 bars of each of the three flavors, as well as a shirt. I figured the more bars I had, the more chances I had at winning. Logically, of course. Now, this could classify as gambling. After all, it's pretty much a lottery on if you're gonna win or not, and you're spending money for a chance to win. But you're getting chocolate, and it's a sweepstakes, and Mr. Beast's audience is mainly little kids, so is this really ethical? But it's a sweepstakes, so I think it's okay. <laughs> Plus, I'm 21, so I'm clear. <laughs> so the Beast Bundle comes with 10 bars of each of the three flavors, and I'm going to do my best to announce them. You have the original chocolate flavor, you have the quino crunch flavor, and the almond flavor. Don't know how you say quinoa. Quinoa? Quinoa. I don't know. <sighs> Whatever that flavor it is, it's there. And you also get a shirt. Now, the shirt will be shipping separately, so if you purchase the Beast Bundle and you do not get your shirt in your actual box, do not contact customer service and then have the shirt arrive a couple more days later and then look like an idiot. Don't do that. <laughs> so it arrives in this very cool box. You can see this really cool sticker and honestly, I'd like one of those stickers. I think they're neat and I'd put it on my guitar case. Just saying. <laughs> How do I buy one? Sorry, this is not the first opening, obviously. And then as I stated before, you get three of these boxes. And this is the shirt that I got with my bundle. It's pretty neat, only I think this should be the front, whereas this is the front, and I think this would have been better as the back. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's neat. I'm glad I have Mr. Beast merch, finally. <laughs> it just took a sweepstakes to make me get merch. <laughs> and just FYI, this is the Beast Bundle box. And honestly, the other bundle where you don't get a free shirt with it, the box is way cooler. I don't know why I didn't get the cool box. Say that you're fine. I got them all separately. It would have been nice to have the cool box as a collector's item, but maybe I'll buy some more. So in case you don't know how this works, because I didn't and I'm the one who made the purchase. So let's just break it down. You get the box of chocolates. You can buy a bundle or you can buy just a box of 10 bars. And then you get a chocolate bar. So there's a code on the back and you you peel the code and then you enter the code to win instant prizes is what they're called. Now, this is still not clear to me. It's still very vague. I thought there were actual tickets inside the bars. I would be opening the bars and then you would get a ticket. And so when I received the box, which was very, very early on, I really believe that I was one of the first like 500, 1000 people, probably not, but I feel like I was one of the first people to actually receive their box because you can get an extra entry into the sweepstakes if you post it and you have the hashtag. At the time of me making my post with the hashtag, there was only like 500 posts. So I have a feeling that I was one of the first people to receive them. So common sense would tell you as soon as you receive the bars, you should probably scan them all. 
I'm over here thinking there's an actual ticket inside the bars. So I waited until like just last week to finally scan all my bars and I still have five here that I have not scanned because I just, I enjoy like scanning and sometimes the thrill is just the hope of winning. So I'm waiting to scan these five. I'll scan one of them on camera and we'll find out if I win. But just like saying if you do this, scan them because apparently they're already giving winners. <laughs> I checked and there were a ton of ton of prizes already gone and that's when I went like, oh my god, I have to scan all of these right now. So, <laughs> oops. <laughs> so if you get your bars, go ahead and scan them. I think it's way better in the long run for you to scan them as soon as you get them. I don't know why my brain was like, no, let's wait and scan them as you eat the chocolates, as if I'm going to be eating 30 chocolate bars within two weeks, but that's what I did, and I may have lost my chance, who knows. But to just clarify, as far as I understand, there is no physical ticket inside the chocolate bar. Previously, I thought they were going to be doing the drawing kind of all at once, or you'd receive an email if you won, but the girl who has won one of the chocolate bars, tickets, uh, she won an instant prize and she got a box then and the box had the ticket in it so it's still a physical ticket but you get it through an instant prize but yet on their Instagram page they're still claiming that even if you don't win an instant prize you're still in the running for the sweepstakes so it's very unclear and unfortunate that it's very unclear because I don't know if I should buy more chocolate. <laughs> So before I go through what prizes I won and if I'm going to be in the chocolate factory video, <laughs> I want to tell you the taste of the chocolate because most likely you're going to buy the chocolate and you're not going to win. So let's find out if it's worth the price just to have the chocolate. So here are the three different flavors. We have the original chocolate, the quinoa crunch and the almond chocolate so just a disclaimer I have tried the almond chocolate this is the one that I've been eating um, I have not tried either of these two I may have tried the original chocolate as soon as I had it but I really I don't think I did I think I only tried the almond all right so this is the almond chocolate mmm it melts pretty well. It's melting all over my hand even. So, for sure though, the quinoa is gonna be my first taste. <laughs> so I won't bore you with the original chocolate. I mean, it's chocolate. And I won't bore you with having to see me fake my first reaction to the almond chocolate. I'm only gonna try the quinoa crunch. I don't remember struggling this much. Ah. Only I could hurt myself opening chocolate. Okay, here we go. So on each of the bars, it has a saying. It says devour. I think maybe each bar has a different saying on it. So like, I think the almond chocolate has share on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and break a piece off and give it a try. I don't even know what quinoa is. I think it's like a rice. I've heard of like rice. I'm guessing this is gonna kind of be like a Kit Kat where it has like that crunchiness to it. So here is my piece. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, I was correct. That tastes exactly like a Kit Kat. I am amazed. That is so much like a Kit Kat. Very good. Very tasty. I'm gonna talk about the overall like chocolate, what I think the chocolate tastes like. But once I get to the original chocolate, first I wanna talk to you guys about almonds. Heads up, the almonds in this are very, very tiny. Like super tiny. So if you don't like almond in your chocolate, I doubt you're even gonna notice there's almonds in it. Just a heads up and let's just compare 
I like almonds because they're full of protein. So in my head, I think that almonds and chocolate makes it healthier. <laughs> Let's just compare. So this is the almond one and it has two grams of protein. This is the original and it has two grams of protein. And this is the quinoa and it has two grams of protein. So are they the same calories? Yes, they are all 170 calories. Uh, all the same amount of sugar. Yes. So the only reason you should have another one is for flavor. And the almond, honestly, it's not much of an almond flavor to it. So, yeah. And now we're gonna move on to the original chocolate. The chocolate and all of them are very similar. So I'm just gonna like critique all of the chocolates. So it's kind of in between a dark and a milk. It's not labeled as milk chocolate for a reason. It's not quite as smooth or like sweet as you might expect, but it's not as dark and bitter as a dark chocolate, but it still has like a little bit of bitterness to it. So if you only like milk chocolate, you might not like this, but I don't like dark chocolate and I kind of like it. I actually um, don't mind that it's not milk chocolate. Also, it has almost a healthier taste to it. I don't know if it's because it brags that it's only got like four ingredients or five ingredients, but it really, it doesn't taste like there's all this crap ton of sugar in it as you might have expect from your like grocery store chocolate. So, I mean, I think it's good chocolate. I don't know. Let's see, I spent $80 for three boxes. How much is each box? Hold on. So for a 10 pack, you're gonna have to spend $30. That's roughly $3 per bar. And I think it's $3 worth. It's honestly not that expensive per bar. So for just the chocolate aspect, I don't think it's a waste of your money necessarily. Now, if you're doing it just for the sweepstakes, it's time to find out, are the prizes worth it? Okay, so we are going to peel that little code and then enter the code and see if we want anything. Okay, so it has like, enter your code. So I'm going to peel this and they're kind of hard to peel. So bear with me. Okay, so you peel it, and then you have a little code that you enter, and this should give you like an instant prize. Okay, and then you spin to win. And I didn't win. But I have 27 entries. I mean, if you want to register using my link, I'll get an additional entry. So, because, you know, I like to hoard everything, every time I have peeled and scanned one, I put it in this little baggie. The idea was that when I got the big winner, I would like save it and frame it, but I'm not going to know which one's the big winner now. They all stick together anyways. So. We'll just have it for memories. <laughs> now on to the important stuff. What did I win? So I have 30 bars. I spent $80. And I scanned 25 bars. Um, I have five leftovers. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna scan one of them for camera purposes, but just FYI, I technically have not scanned all 30 of my bars because I like to, I like the thrill of waiting. So this is what I won. These are all my prizes. Wow. Oh wait, I forgot, I did win one thing. A secret video, which was basically just an ad for what I have already bought. Now, I'm still holding on 
hope because I think the sweepstakes is still happening. Like, I just didn't win the instant prizes, so I think I'm still in the running for the sweepstakes. So let me check. Yes, okay. It says there are still nine tickets remaining. So, I'm holding on hope. And I still am hopeful that there's an actual physical ticket in my bars. Because I have not opened all of the bars. So, maybe there is an actual physical ticket and I just haven't opened all of them yet. Also, just FYI, this is not international. Mr. Beast says it's not international because shipping chocolate international is hard. This is probably because doing a sweepstakes international is hard, but chocolate does melt. <laughs> so if you're international and you're wanting to just have the chocolate, not participate because you can't participate, I bet you can find maybe someone who would be willing to ship it to you. Maybe check eBay, I don't know um, where else you could go, but maybe look online. <laughs> so I'm still holding on hope. I would love to be in the video, I think it would be so much fun, and I think the Chocolate Factory video is going to be a huge hit. It might even be better than his Squid Games video, which did really well. So uh, at the end of the day, at least I have chocolate to eat while I dream about being in the Chocolate Factory. <sighs> I'm, I'm hoping it's like Willy Wonka. That'd be so cool. Imagine he actually makes people plump up into blueberries, like they have to wear a blueberry outfit or something. Last one to stop being a blueberry wins. <laughs> no, no. Last one to leave the blueberry wins. So, did you buy any chocolate? Did you win anything? Are you excited for the Chocolate Factory video? Let me know all of this down in the comments below. Also, this month is March, and I am challenging myself to upload at least 10 videos in March. Wow. I'm hoping to get to 400 subscribers by the end of March, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're going to be seeing a lot more of me, and let me know if you have any ideas on what you want me to do in my next video. That's all for this video. Till next video, stay awesome. So e the awesome the